Absolutely beautiful today. Lots of sunshine. High temperature is just barely getting up to 80 degrees, which our normal high this time of year is 81. Very nice outside. The dry air, the low humid air is what made us feel so comfortable. 78 degrees, our current temperature with a dew point of only 49 makes our relative humidity 36% very dry. Notice an east southeasterly wind at seven miles an hour. Overnight tonight, we're going to start to see more of a southeasterly wind, and some muggies will slowly start coming back during the day tomorrow. I still think Tuesday is going to be nice. In the 70s across the area outside right now, and it was cool to start the morning. In fact, you could almost call it chilly. As the North Shore Slidell did get down to 48 degrees, we spent most of the early morning hours in the 40s and low 50s, and then gradually getting to the upper 70s on the uh, North Shore. South of the lake, our morning temperature, at least in the metro area, only in the low 60s with an afternoon high, as I mentioned, 80 degrees. We did spend most of the day today in the upper 70s, right at about normal for both our high and our low. So on the average, this is about where we are supposed to be for late April. And it has felt very, very nice over the last uh, kind of two and a half days after our front moved through on Saturday midday. It started to feel pretty nice by the afternoon and evening hours once we got into that cooler air, although the rain kind of moved in late on Saturday. But yesterday was nice, today nice, and tomorrow nice. Again, dew points in the 40s has really made it feel very pleasant. But as I mentioned, we will start to see more of a wind shift. That'll start bringing back moisture, so it's not going to be quite as uh, dry tomorrow, but I still think overall a nice day on Tuesday. We are looking at a chance for some storms early on Wednesday, maybe even some severe, and then very pleasant weather for Thursday and Friday. Here's what's going on. We're actually looking up to the north this time. Last couple of times we've had severe weather. We've been watching kind of a low and upper low over the west coast. This one is actually coming in from the Pacific Northwest. And the disturbance that's going to be developing over kind of Idaho, Montana, we're going to be watching it as it progresses across the Great Plains. And it's going to be across the plains and parts of the southeast that we really start to see the weather become a bit more active. Then it'll be a line of storms that we watch move through southeast Louisiana early on Wednesday, probably morning into the midday hours, we see those storms roll on through the area. Now, the good news is this is not going to be an all-day event on Wednesday. It should be through the area before the noon hour with cooler air moving in later in the day on Wednesday and then making for a very pleasant Thursday and Friday. So once again, we'll be watching that window of opportunity for maybe some strong to severe storms. Most of the severe risk looks to be the day before on Tuesday as that line starts to advance into the from Great Plains to the southeast. And there is an enhanced risk up to our northwest. And then day of on Wednesday, we have a low end marginal risk. Now, this could change. We're still three days out, but just something that we're watching up very closely for Wednesday, again, morning and midday of a risk of maybe some strong to severe storms. And again, the good news is it's not going to be an all day event on Wednesday. Clear skies, mild temperatures, low humidity, still very pleasant with overnight temperatures dropping into the 50s and 60s, evening temperatures, 60s and 70s. A lot of sunshine, very nice, a little warmer, a little more humid. We'll probably spend more of the uh, afternoon hours of Wednesday or excuse me, of Tuesday totally forget what day of the week it is, in the 80s compared to today where we spent most of the day in the 70s. Some storms early Wednesday. Again, that rainfall is not going to be an all-day event. And then clearing out and then very pleasant for Thursday and Friday. High temperatures, upper 70s and low 80s. We stay dry over the weekend, but it looks like an upper ridge is going to be building over us, which means temperatures could be flirting with the upper 80s and perhaps even near 90. All right, not a bad week at all. Thanks very much, Chris.